Hello fellow gamers and exiles. It is I, Kazak Thule, here with Viking Gaming, and we're going to go ahead and do a playthrough of Conan Exiles. This playthrough is going to be about actually taking off the bracelet. Let's see what our character looks like. Uh, surprise, surprise, we made a Nordheimer, because what kind of Viking isn't a Nord, or any Scandinavian race? Our god is Ymir, the god of frost giants, because, well, frost giants and Nords go hand in hand. Let's go ahead and finalize the character and see why we're exiled. Kazakh Thule, Nordheimer, condemned to death in exile for crimes including assassinating a merchant, pickpotting, and crude language. Any who remove this body, living or dead, from this cross shall be flayed alive along with all members of their family. Well, that could be better. Okay, let's go ahead and get this game playthrough started. Alright, our first steps in Conan Exiles. Let's go ahead and start doing journey quests, pick up rocks, find our talking tablet over here, and just more or less get as much experience as we can early off. We need to get plants so that we can get clothes on. We've already got that taken care of and we're gonna start working our way up north I'm gonna make a beeline I'm not gonna start off in the starter area like most people do I'm actually just gonna make a almost suicide run up north so that I can actually get situated where I want to I've got myself a comfortable spot up north I usually go to and if all goes well it will be available for us so let's go ahead and get that started so my goal for this playthrough is to actually set myself up with a little base up north and eventually go through the events needed to collect and remove our bracelet I've seen quite a few videos of playthroughs but I haven't seen too many actually showcasing how to remove your bracelet and I know a lot of people don't like to do it because it does have the unfortunate event of actually removing your character from the world. So, with that said, I'll go ahead and do or er, remove the bracelet for you so that you can see all the events needed to do it as well as the event of actually doing so. Uh, if anybody wishes to join me, I do have a Patreon and I will be posting the server I'm on on the Patreon so that people can join up with me and when I do successfully remove my bracelet the clan that we've created will be transferred over. Pick up some rocks over here. Is that a wrench? Yep. Okay. So I got plenty of rocks. I just need some more branches. And yes, yes, Mr. Angry Man. Okay, la 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 la. Plants. I should be able to get some shoes soon. Alright. Climb. Um, eat some bugs. I always put that there. Drink from that. Get another journey step. There we go. Got clothes. Get a few levels and pickaxe. Another branch. Alrighty. Getting things situated. I've got clothes. I feel better. Walking up the path. Let's see where we're located here in the desert. Uh, we are located right smack center. So I'm actually going to be taking. Oh no, my spot's taken by the looks of things. That's not good. Well, darn. Okay, plan B. They've taken that. I will set up on the shores of that one. I'll still find a spot up there. Not to worry. Let's see what we've got going on. Of course, as soon as we get here, it becomes night and I can't see. So that means our first goal must be to get... Oh, we got park already. That's a nice, pleasant surprise. I need some more branches. Branches. 
torches. Three branches. Not bark branches. Damn it. What a great way to start. Where is the water? Run away because I am not prepared to deal with any kind of angry turtles. I need sticks. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep these videos down to about 30 minutes worth of playtime. And ideally, I'd like to be able to post these dailies, but I'm doubt that's going to be er I don't know about my posting schedule but I will try to at least do multiple recordings so that I can post when I don't have access to the game and I believe that is enough for an X yes okay we're at the water there we go and there's somebody living there now that we got that, what do we need for a torch? More sticks. But now that we've got our handy dandy axe, we can actually get branches. There we go. Now a little bit more plant fiber. Some seeds and plant fiber, always handy. Let's go ahead and increase our encumbrance now we're going to get primary skills like building because we're gonna need that very shortly not even high enough wow I'm not high enough level for oh wait I'm missing something what am I missing ah basic torches there we go and beds there we go. that'll give us a basis now I can actually build a real torch instead of an improvised one which, for those that don't know, it's a difference of 3 minutes versus 20 minutes. So, always handy. Now, let's make sure that's in the right spot. That is, that is... I do need a weapon. Uh, warrior... I don't have enough points for that. Okay. So at least we got the important stuff. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a weapon, which is... Okay. We need... Rock. There. Got enough rock. Now I just need plant fiber and... Twine. Okay. Let's see... Five twine... Twines all the way. It's supposed to be. Where is my plant fiber? Twine. Ah, there it is. Oh, that night cycle wasn't too bad. There we go. Got our five branches, and we have ourselves a sword. Okay, come on. Probably should build a little bit of fire. Which I th got a dedicated weapon. Sorry, little turtle. I need your food. Oh, you. Okay. I don't remember if it's axe or pick for food. Okay, we've got some feral flesh. Let's try the pick. Pick gets us flesh. Okay. Where was that big angry turtle? He was up there. That's not what I want. I need a sword. There we go. More feral flesh. We're also getting hide, which will be handy when we make our bedroll. 
Okay. Now, should we go up the East River and what, or the rest West River? I'm actually gonna go up the West River. So I'm gonna sh gonna show you guys the path that I normally take. That way, if you guys ever want to start a character and hit up north before level 10, you can do so. I've done this quite a few times, so I know the majority of the way. I don't take the West River very often. Normally I take the East River, but it's very similar. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just going to steal some eggs. And you are glowing eyed and angry. I don't want to deal with you. Goodbye. Uh, da 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 da. Running, running, running. Please don't hate me. That was a big ass turtle. I don't think I've seen one like that. Let's see, we are getting there. Ooh, hyenas. Nope. Goodbye. No. Stop it. You guys need to leave me alone. Uh, of course. swim for a little bit so they don't come after me and is that one going into the water yes okay let's see egg well I'm here I'm gonna safely learn how to move we can get our encumbrance up some more and we can make regular torches we can make can we not make campfires? Why is there a cat here? Oh, it's a guardian cat. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Let's see. We should be a lot safer here and behind the guards of another camp. And I can't do campfire. What's going on here? Campfire is a skill. That should be a base survival skill. Provides torch, bed, torches. Oh, that's because it's here. There it is. There. Big ass camp. Don't mind me, just passing through. I love those torches. Okay, now we're doing on resources. We have plenty of wood, we could use some more branches. So I'm going to use my axe, and when you axe a branch, you get multiple branches instead of just picking one up. A nifty little trick for those that didn't know. Or you can just pick it up normally. There we go, there we go, and there we go. Uh, or not. That should last us quite some time. Did they block off the river? I'm not at the river. That makes sense. But they got a big old camp over here. Let's go ahead and hop over their wall. Thank you, sir. Ooh. No eggs. Not a surprise. No eggs. No eggs. Alright, we're at the base of the river. And there's an angry crocodile. No thank you, have a nice day, I am out of here.
mean I can get me some free food? Those are some gnarly bucks. Free food? I like free food. Bones in this case, but that'll work. I do not want to piss any of these off. So I'm just going to kind of slink my way over here. Ooh, got a crocodile head. Fork in the road. This is a nice solid halfway point that leads to the East River, and for the most part, it's kind of easy sailing from here. Okay, ooh, another big old camp. Is that a big white yeti? That is a big scary mutter. Fighter. Just being nosy, don't mind me. Ooh, he's got a name. Ooh, Silverback Gorilla. That's nice to see. Waterfall. We're almost to the north. Now this is actually a good spot. I usually place a waypoint camp just so if I do die, because that is a high likelihood considering wearing not even two ply tissue paper. I'm gonna set up my camp or my base right up here on the side here. Well not a base, just a bedroll. Uh, I need twine. I got plenty of twine. I need three twine. One, two, three. And we have a bedroll. Or we will shortly. And I know it goes here because I placed it several times. There we go. Okay, so as you notice, there's two paths here. The left path leads to a rather angry large crocodile over there. We don't want to go that way. Okay, I thought I saw some. The right side over here does lead to something interesting. This leads to our friend the Sahara, the Sahara biome, where it's got your tigers and your elephants and rhinos. We might come make a visit there later. Uh, shattered Basin, that's what we're looking for. That little pathway leads us up into north. This is by far the easiest method I've seen. The most dangerous thing you'd find at going up this way is a crocodile. There, we have made it up into the north, and if you notice, we're still not freezing because we're still in the highland section. But we are going to try to hit the foresty section, so let's go ahead and keep taking a look. We got some as sure as glory for those that like the purple. Here's our aqueduct. We are going to make a little dangerous pit stop to get a new re cook recipe or two.
What's that? Huh. I don't think I've ever picked any of that up before. What I wonder what it's for. Get ahead and eh, food sounds like a good idea because I know we got this some more feral meat. Go ahead and cook that up. I could cook up some gruel just because it'll last long, but it doesn't really give us much health, so we're just gonna stick with the feral flesh and shredded roast right now. But we're gonna be adventuring over there and getting ourselves some cooking recipes. But, for now, I'm going to see what this is for. Orange water dwelling plant. Plucked from bottom of river. This plant can be used to produce bright orange dye. Oh, that's where orange dye is from. Awesome. Let's see. Almost done. Last one. And thank you. Let's go ahead and eat some. Why did it not add it to the stack? It should have. Oh. Okay. Eat one more. Hi, sir. Ow! Hey, no bows. That's not fair. I just need to learn your recipe and get out of here. Have a good day. Bye. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. Okay. Oh, look like somebody else has a camp over there. But we're going to keep heading over this way. Oh boy, I do not want to play wolves. Wolves have been getting quite a bit stronger lately. I don't feel comfortable fighting them until I at least have steel weapons and armor. Considering I barely have stone weapons, I'm just going to run like a security cat. Ah! Nope, they are still on my tail. They are still following me. Why did bulls have to be so aggressive? Still? Damn. Okay, let's just keep running. Nice big open base. Looks great. Horrible place for a camp. that don't ah more wolves that entire basin's full of wolves I'm not gonna go in there anytime soon there's a big alpha boar doesn't look familiar at all. Are you hostile? It's a guardian. Ah! There's a lot of shale bags there. There's an elk good source of food. Wow, why must you guys be so aggressive? Damn. Alrighty. 
There's our source of bacon, I mean pork. Damn, those wolves are aggressive today. There's another elk. We're probably going to kill that one quite often. Any place you find a large collection of boars, you also have a good chance of finding piglets if you want to grow your own boar. And there's a king elk who is a big aggressive asshole. And now let's go ahead and keep running. Let's see. Oh, wow. That is a big castle. Let's see what they've got going on in here. So they've got that shore set up. Not surprising. They've got a nice... Look, sounds like a crafting room in there. And that is their big main keep. That is awesome. That definitely looks like a vault or fortress of some sort. Anything here on the south side? No, they didn't really build much here. But, for those who haven't been in this area very, very much, I like this spot because back that way where we came, there's a bunch of iron and, as you saw, angry food. There's more iron up that way. And, right down this path over here, you have, just down the river, just down the way, we have, let's go ahead and show you, a little path that takes you down through the mountains into the sulfur pits. But let's go ahead and find a spot where we can set up our little camp. So we're going to go up river a little bit, try our best to avoid the wolves, and see if we can't find ourselves a nice little place to settle down. But yeah, that is an epic looking fortress. Let's see, are there any other big castles, big bases that we should have note? Uh, there's Durketto, there's Mitra, Jabal Sog, and they have just about all of these here, so we'll go ahead and try the south side of the river here. Oh, they got another thing over here. This. Sounds like a wheel of pain, maybe? Hey. There's another king elk. Grab ourselves some more roast because I'm getting hungry and hurt. Just now starting to get cold. I'm not complaining really because it's starting to get night and night means cold. Wow, they've got the... this entire area as well. Uh, looks like this might still be in progress. I wonder what they're building there. Nope. Time to move. We've got unwanted angry intention. Okay. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a little bit of deep water. Let's keep going. Okay, starting to get dark. Time to pull out a torch. Okay, and this spot is taken. Surprise, surprise, it's close to water. I've got a feeling we're going to have to go a little further north than I would like to start off. And what a time to run out of... I do not want to run out of seven. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Please let me alone. All I'm trying to do is live. Okay. So we're getting close to the crevice, and we've been met with snow. Really? More wolves? Okay. I'm thinking I just need to find a spot to hide until morning. I'm going to go ahead and climb this cliff and see if we can't hide off till morning. 
All right, morning's come. I've managed to get up on my rock for a nice little view. Found a spot over here that looks like we could make into camp. I just need to finish scouting it out, but my video is getting a little long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Please like the video and make sure to hit that bell icon so when I post videos, you'll be able to, you'll be notified when they're ready for you. Thank you and have a good one.